Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to work out this shaded area and we were given the curve with equation C uh, given up here, y equals 10x all times x to the half minus 2. And you can see that it turns out to be 226. I've got units squared here. You don't have to write that, but uh, I always like to do that when it comes to working out an area. And to work out this area is essentially integration. In the previous part, we worked out the integral of this. It turned out to be 4x to the power 5 over 2 minus 10x squared, plus a constant of integration. But do remember, we can drop that constant of integration because it's going to get cancelled out when we're using limits here, doing a definite integral, if you like. Now, when it comes to working out this integral, this section here below the x-axis between x equals 0 and x equals 4, because it's below the x-axis, we should know that it's going to come out as a negative value. So what I've done is I've negated what would be this negative answer here so that we get a positive value. You can see it coming through here, minus minus 32. OK, so that's going to give us a positive area of 32 units. Then I've added it to this area here, which is established when you integrate between 4 and 9, x equals 4 to x equals 9. So it's just a question then of substituting x equals 4 into here first of all, which I've done, and then subtracting what you get when you put 0 through, which comes to 0 anyway. And similarly, Repeating that here, when x is 9, substituting it in and subtracting what you get when you put x is 4 through, which is this one here. OK, so I think the key point to this is realising this area here is going to be negative when it's below the x-axis. OK, so just work that out. You should find then you get your 226.